joined the board of the Women's Fund, I was delighted to hear how many thousands of women and girls we have touched, how many millions in grant support we've given, and how many amazing programs we've supported. For the past 23 years, we've been able to do this incredible work only with the help of people like you. We're continuing to mentor smaller nonprofits, creating more learning opportunities to help all nonprofits that serve women and girls become sustainable. It is my honor to introduce you to our grantee partners for 2016-2017. My time at Pace has been very inspiring, not only because I have learned a lot about myself, but also because I have had the opportunity to be in many different programs and activities. Out of all the programs and activities I have participated in, I have enjoyed the robotics the most. But Sarah's story shows the power that when we provide girls a safe place to explore all things related to tech, we give them the confidence to believe that this world of possibilities is open to them. Our team was so excited to continue to fuel her passion for robotics that we actually were able to fund her own kit that we'd like to present her here today. So. we then suggest to them that we will insert and pay for their IUD. So no longer will they find themselves in the intangible position of having to return to us again for a second abortion. And so here we are in 2016 with the Miami Workers Center and the women of this community, and now they do have a choice in their reproductive health. And I'm proud to say that I'm a LEAP graduate. I am also a convicted felon. And they've just given me all the tools and the support that I need to, to be a better person in life and to help my community. And that's what I'm doing. Leap to Prosperity will bring the mental health component to this partnership, which will provide participants with individual counseling, group counseling that focus on trauma, crisis intervention, adjustment disorder, post-traumatic stress. It would allow participants to have a partnership with the social workers while incarcerated and continue with the relationship after release. And in 2006, the Special Victims Bureau felt there was a need to create a proactive program to assist young women between the ages of 12 to 19 understand and see the possible signs of domestic violence. Our efforts has already made an impact. As of recently, one of our presentations is already assisted us in finding leads for young women who are being trafficked. I started Educate Tomorrow about 13 years ago with my four sisters. We have over 100 college graduates, have assisted over 1,000 students, and at the time in the state of Florida, only eight students were using the tuition waiver, and this year we had over 2,500 students using the tuition waiver. Through Educate Tomorrow and the program P3, which stands for finding your power, presence, and purpose. I have been able to do tremendous things. I don't have to go it alone anymore. And I'm so grateful for Educate Tomorrow and the P3 program for helping me find my power, presence, and purpose and move forward. We need to continue to be the voice of women and girls who are caught in violent relationships, who don't have access to health care, who experience economic security da insecurity daily, and feel they don't have a voice. This is not just an investment in the Women's Fund. It is an investment in the future of women and girls in our community, and I believe it is one of the most important investments that any of us can make. It's great to be with you here at the Jungle Islands to support uh, the outstanding work that the Women's Fund is doing in our community. And in recognition of the outstanding uh, work uh, that the Women's Fund has done to be a voice for our children, and to raise awareness of this issue in our community, I would like to uh, present this proclamation to the Women's uh, Fund of Miami-Dade County.